some people just are not meant to go with you all the way. And so as we are shifting as a consciousness, a lot of us are starting to wake up and starting to move into this new earth energy. We're starting to remember who we are and it's really beautiful. We have to remember that other people are not on the same path, other souls. And that can be so hard to accept when we love them, when we're in relationship with them romantically, in a friendship, even in a work dynamic. Like if they, if that dynamic and that relationship is not supporting you in your soul's callings, you can't force them to change and come on your path with you. And you, the more you ignore the path that your soul, soul wants to take, the more suffering you're going to experience. And so that's the hard truth. And that's something that I've learned along my journey of remembering who I am. And I tried so hard in the very beginning, like when I had my first spiritual awakening in 20. 14, I believe. Um, sorry if there's like some kind of echoing. Uh, I was going through my spiritual awakening. I was in college and I spent the summer alone and I was like, I, I, I'm feeling the call. Something's about to happen. And I went through the spiritual awakening. It was so beautiful and blissful and everything. And then when everyone started returning back to school, I was like, I can, I can have both. Like I can merge both. I'm not going to tell anybody about what I've gone through. I'm just going to do my meditations in my room, keep it quiet. And then I'm going to go out and party. It'll be fine. And it, I was not able to merge the two. I wasn't able to like have this secret awake life and then also have these relationships and to be happy like that. You know, you need to have supportive people for the person that you are, the truth of who you are. And if you are hiding who you truly are to have people in your life, then that's not going to lead to happiness and fulfillment. Like you need people who allow you the space to expand into all that you are. And so I started learning that and it took a very long time. And like you, I had to weed through and learn and learn and learn. It was like the obvious ones were first. It's like, okay, we only hang out when we get really drunk together. And um, and when I was in college <laughs> and I was like, this is probably not like a real relationship. And then even just like a romantic relationship, you know, I dated someone for four years and then I realized I was like, we're really not supporting each other. Like it's, it's a miserable thing and we want different things too. Like our souls were on the same path for a while we had to figure out how to heal chronic illness illnesses together, very similar ones. And then as soon as we healed, it was like, I really wanted to travel and he really wanted to build his career and to just be in California and to do other things and to follow his passion of music and going clubbing. <laughs> and like, it was just, we wanted very different things. And so I kept trying to force myself to think like, well, we were so compatible in the beginning. Like we, we wanted like the, the same things. Like we were such good partners and like we spent all this time together. And so like, it has to be that our souls are still going. And it was just like, no, I had to accept that no longer were we benefiting each other's path. And like, I was, we were both not happy. And so after that obvious thing, semi-obvious thing ended, it was like, okay, and now it's time to look at other things like job and friendships. And so it was like the friendships that I had, even though some of them were so supportive, like so supportive and they're, they are good people. And like, I think that it's a really beautiful gift to have to see the truth of somebody, like to see the truth of like someone's soul. But if you have that and you can feel that in people, I think it's also very important not to use that as an excuse to keep them in your life or to keep them in your inner circle. Like I've done that before where like I was dating this like very abusive person, this narcissist. And I only say that because he was like actually getting help for being a narcissist. Um, and for three years, I, it was like so much obvious stuff that like more, most people would leave because, but I was number one brainwashed. And number two, I would just keep leaning into seeing the truth 
of who he is, his soul. I was also going through a spiritual awakening part of like my journey at that time too, is also like in the college time. And I was reading these books on souls and all this stuff. And I was like, I see the truth of who he is. He's, he's just a human trying to heal. But that didn't mean that we had to stay together. It wasn't supporting me in a positive way in my evolution. And so it's like, it's very important to put yourself first in all of this. And so in those friendships, it's like, even though they're supportive, they're there for me in a lot of ways. And the truth of who they are is good. Am I feeling expanded by them? Am I able to be myself around them? Am I able to share the things that actually interest me? If not, then it might not be the relationship that is meant to be in your life at this time. Maybe you guys part ways and maybe you come back together and you are compatible in a different timeline but maybe not this timeline and like maybe you don't give up so soon maybe you try to have a conversation and if that doesn't work then you kind of have your answer there so I've gone through that in many layers like the obvious the very obvious and then the not so obvious too I think that like traveling with people is very good it brings everything to the surface and it just really shows you the truth of the relationship because all other factors are gone. Nothing's familiar except you two and your your dynamics are right in your face. And so I think that having the courage to let go of relationships that didn't seem so obvious, but like are now presenting themselves as maybe they're you still cannot be like, maybe it's not super toxic and they're not like being verbally abusive to you and they're not like putting down other people or whatever. But if you simply just like cannot be you or if you can't, if they're not celebrating your wins with you, or again, if you just cannot talk about the things that like light you up, then, you know, maybe some space, maybe it's time to end it. I don't know, it's gonna be, for you to decide but as soon as you do that and you cut off these things and maybe it's a job maybe it's the things that you own these things all like belongings they take up energy and space and so when you close that door on those things it allows the space for things that are more aligned for you and really really quickly it will come to you like almost immediately if you cut something out that's not for you and almost immediately the next thing comes in and maybe it's obvious maybe it's not but this is how we shift through sorry <laughs> shift through timelines is we make the space we call it in. we make the space we call it in. we stay true to ourselves. we make the space we call it in and so it's just it's not going to work like if you try to force a relationship to come with you into the the new timeline that you're headed and they're not on board and they're not supporting it and they're not supporting you and they're not in the same mindset or energy that's just the human experience is like it's okay to let go and to say i wish you sh the best in your journey on earth and i maybe i'll see you soon and so i think that that is a beautiful experience and to live in a place of non-attachment is so important in general. And so it is really good for our own evolution to allow us to trust, allow our, ourselves to trust that when we let go, we are safe. That when we let go, more will come to us, more aligned will come to us, more aligned with the truth of who we are will come to us. We hold on so often in fear that nothing else will come, right? That lack mindset, that not worthy mindset. I had the, those really supportive friendships, but I still, I didn't feel, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel like me. My nervous system was always like, ah, like this isn't right. Uh, but I wanted to stay for a while because I was like, how am I going to find as supportive of a friend as this person or with the job that I was in? Like, how am I going to find something that allows me the, you know, the freedom to work from home sometimes. Like you create these stories when it's like, it can be so much better than you could ever imagine if you just trust that when something doesn't feel right, doesn't feel supportive of who you are, that it might not be for you anymore. So 
that's the message for today. If it resonated, please give this a thumbs up, comment on the video below, and I will see you in the next video. I just started sharing videos very recently within the past month, every single day, and I'm super happy to be here. And so let me know if you want me to talk about anything specific, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.